Saint Mary's Dante, aka you know Superman. Um, I'm joined by uh, my wife. Hey y'all, um, it's me, yeah, Stephanie. Go. Yeah, uh. <laughs> <laughs> we here. Yeah, yeah, we finally here. We finally on the air. So, just want to just you know introduce ourselves and you know why we decided to do this podcast, but. Babe, I'm going to let you go first. All right. So, you know, I grew up in uh, Philadelphia. Shout out to everybody from Philly. You know, shout out to uh, Stereotype. You know what I mean? Um, I see everybody that's from around the world. You know, if y'all can, just do me one favor real quick. If y'all could just share this real quick with your friend, with your homie, you know, whoever you vibe with, no matter who they are, if you could just share this, this one, because this is going to be special. I'm letting y'all know now. This is going to be something so special, and we're going to bring y'all something so different, and I want y'all to be a part of the the, the way that's coming, all right? Um, so, like I said, I'm from Philly. Um you know, I went to Martin Luther King High School, for those that know. Um, and I was blessed to meet my beautiful wife, Stephanie. Um, we've been through ups and downs. Um, I love basketball, too. But I love my wife, you know. Y'all going to find that out. Um, and pretty much, I'm, you know, I'm a little nervous. I ain't going to lie. But I'm a genuine person person and I like to see others win and um I like to you know I like to win myself but I, I I'm most happy when I see other people win that's around because I don't care who you are as an individual you never you never win alone so that's why I asked y'all to share this because we all we all want to win and we're going to drop some gems and help those you know whoever's in need and hopefully you know, y'all could share some of y'all experiences with us, you know, and and y'all y'all wisdom with us as well. So, I'm a I'm gonna pass it over to my beautiful wife, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> Did I do a good job? For oh you? my god! Oh my god! I'm just <laughs> right now all smiles. Yes, this is definitely new to me. Um, first, shout out to everybody that's listening right now. Shout out to CC Bloom. Shout out to Icy Chick. Uh, shout out to everyone who's listening right now. Yes, I am Stephanie, uh, but some may know me on Instagram or Nurse Pinky, Nurse Halls. But yes, I am an LPN. I am a school nurse. I do that during the day, and um, I love my uh, children. And yes. me and Dante both share four children and we just basically we work we come home and we live a normal life but a lot of things that we do that we post up on social media a lot of people be you know inboxing us and asking us questions about certain things or they'll say oh you know um I love y'all I love the things y'all do so that just kind of encouraged me and Dante to kind of like do a podcast and just kind of like Talk about some of the things that we do. Talk about the ups and downs. Me and Dante has actually been married for this June. We'll make about nope, 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 nope. Years. <laughs> <laughs> about fifty six no, years. No, me and Dante have been married. It feels like forever, but we technically been married for thirteen years, um, and we have been through a lot. Some people will say we've been married longer than that. Some people will say that we've been together longer than that. But me and Dante met each other in 2007. Yeah, yeah. 2007. <laughs> that, those time. was the good old days, you know what I mean? Fresh out of high school, you know what I mean? Um, 2007 was like, man, it, what was COVID? It's no such thing as COVID, right? Yeah, back 2007, it was a lot going on, but we met each other, um, we went to the same high school, um, and we had mutual friends, and we actually met each other in, um, a parking lot, 
And Dante will claim to this day, and if anybody is listening right now that know me, thank know, you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Whoever Joe is, <laughs> thank you. If anybody Joe. that knows me that's listening right now, they will know the real story. But Dante will think, and he will tell everybody this that I was crying. Oh my God, somebody was, hurt huh? me, and I was just crying in a parking lot. And Dante just came <laughs> along and just saved the day. And took me out, and that's that's his story. He's sticking to it, but whatever. Listen, I'm gonna let him I mean, have it. I mean, listen, I ain't gonna lie. I gotta tell this story. All right. I know that I know that we did. I'm going off trip a little bit, but I gotta tell the story. All right. So I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna say names because I don't want to offend anyone. But the truth is the truth, and I just gotta say this. Um, it was a young lady at the time that liked me. Um, and at the time, I'm I'm. Well, how old was I? Like 18, 19? Like, you know, so I was a Yeah, you was 19. Yeah, I was a, a interesting young fella, you feel me? Um, yeah, not okay. to my own horn. <laughs> <laughs> but um I had offered at the coming from work on a school night to, you know, take him out to breakfast because I seen this young lady crying and I felt bad, you know. <laughs> Plus I was a little hungry. So I was like, you know what? My neighbor at the time, um, it was his sister, and that's how I met, met Stephanie, you know, Nurse Stephanie. So it was like, oh, okay, this is your friend. Okay, cool. Matter of fact, I take you out. I take you out, which is my neighbor, and I take another female out, which is their friend at the time. So um, long story short, Ooh, we get the IHOP or whatever. Stick to that story. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. We get the IHOP, and um, the way to bring out the pancakes and stuff, so I Grabbed a serve, and I call myself being a gentleman at the time. I guess I was being a simp. I don't know what they call them nowadays. But I poured the serve on top of everybody pancakes. And when it got to the young lady that liked me, she snapped out. She was like, oh, my gosh. Why would you do that? I was like, yeah, well, what did I that do? That was crazy. She's like, you poured <laughs> serve on my pancakes. Now, I know I sound like I'm being a little overdramatic. But, no, that's really how she said it. I mean, she went off as if I spit in her face. And I just like knew she at that stabbed, time that, stabbed the knife in the pancakes, yeah. and like the knife was standing up and everything in the pancakes. Like she yeah. was mad was crazy. about that, sir. But anyway, that was crazy. So that's how I met <laughs> Stephanie. And ever since that day, you know, she uh she chased me down, begging me to uh wow. begging me to marry her. You know. Wow. Say that's no. A <laughs> that's yeah. a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. But no, seriously. Um like I said, I love my wife with 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 all my heart and you know thinking to myself, would I rather do a podcast with my partner that I see uh thirty hours out of a out of the day or would I do it with someone else? I do it with my wife, you know. Um yeah, like me and Dante are truly best friends, even though I know my best friend is currently listening and she'll probably like beat me up after this, but Dante is truly my best friend. We do everything together. Um, The most that we do together that we love doing is traveling. So that is why we have the whole love marriage and travel, because one of the things that me and Dante, before we even met each other, we went on trips. We we travel, but not travel the way we travel now. We're going out of the country, um, trying new things and it's just a vibe with him. It's we just, I for some reason like I go on trips with everyone else, like my friends, and I have a good time. But when it's with your mate, with your husband, it's no greater feeling. You guys are free, and especially if anyone's out there is listening that's married and got kids, you understand when that yeah, break. You need that getaway. <laughs> you need that break. Yeah. Um. So me and I say like one of the favorite places that we love going that we actually just came back from was. Punakana, and um we love it so um i don't know like that's just one of the things that we love doing traveling and of course like i said we love our kids we love being with them but um yeah yeah definitely so um right now like i said if everybody who's listening could just share this with two people you know what i'm saying it's gonna make it so much better because you know i'm gonna get some questions from y'all i want y'all feedback i want y'all to interact you know, I know we got a couple people in here listening. 
You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody. <laughs> you know, oh, you ain't got no kids. Oh, you, you, you no, see. she said, especially uh, Gretchen and Elise. Um, yes, with the ones with no kids, when you are out and you are traveling, and even when you ain't got no kids, it's just a, a peace of mind. Oh, just yeah, being, definitely, definitely. For me, I love the beach. Dante hates the sandworms. Beach. Sandworms, they're real. When Look I met up. him, he has this whole notion of sandworms and whatever to the sandworms, I don't care. He had to compromise with me because I love the beach. It's just something yeah. about the peacefulness, uh, the ocean breeze. Like That's just us, but yeah, him and his sandworms, he'll get over it. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely not. But um, like I said, I want y'all to, you know, interact with us. You know, shout out to Gretchen. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I, I don't know if I can say this, this name, but uh, can you can you say that, uh, Stephanie? B, I got my pot. Yeah. They, yeah, that's B, a, I a, got my pot. Said that they are real. So I yeah. believe the sandworms are real. I believe they're real. However, I ain't never seen no sandworms when I was on the beach. And they ain't never get me, so yeah, I don't care. Like that's <laughs> it's cool. They 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 you know they're little colorists. It's okay, but that's neither here or there. Now, um, I want y'all to you know when when if y'all can you know request a song, whatever song y'all want to hear, you know what to do. Tap that button and, and get the requesting. You know what I mean? That way, you know we get the vibe with y'all. On y'all level, y'all get the vibe with us on our level. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Some songs that take us back, you know. Dante, you remember in 07 when we first met, what was one of the songs that we liked? Um, Which, the I album, know. the album we listened to in the Oh, body. yeah, that's that's easy. <laughs> that's easy. I'm going to go I with T-Pain. I had a Bonneville, y'all, and yeah. nickname was Bonnie, and me and Bonnie was out. My brother lived like up Pittsburgh, close to Pittsburgh, and me, Dante, and Bonnie was always out. And it was just one yeah. album we always listened to when we drove to uh, that area. And do you remember it, Dante? Yeah, that was uh, Epiphany, correct? T Pain. Yeah, yeah, that Epiphany, whole album. Epiphany, right? <laughs> yeah, if y'all if y'all get a chance, there's some great acoustics on there. You know, check it out. You know what I mean? Uh, C.C. Bloom said, oh, yes, with the Praise Jesus team. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, let me see. My bad. I'm trying to... My eyes is horrible for some reason. I'm trying to go through this uh, this thing. That well, right what... You know what, babe? Let me, let me kind of chime in real quick. Because yes, I wanted to go back to 07 mm. now since Dante told this story of how he just came and saved me the damsel in distress type of story he's putting out mm -hmm. let me tell you guys when Dante decided that he wanted to you know make me his girlfriend Dante <laughs> Christmas Christmas of 07 Dante asked me to be oh his girlfriend gosh. And I don't know what happened. I don't know what's the reason because Dante was, he was kind of little, how do they say the word back in the day, babe? I was, I was, I ain't gonna lie. I was, I was a good person. You know, I tried yes, to be a good, good person. Friend. Good person. Like I said, I, I go off of morals. So, right. I wanted to make sure you were safe. I boarded some tires. I'm not gonna lie. I boarded some tires. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I got a breaks done, you know. And he took me to go get food, and those that know me, yo, like know that <laughs> you take me to go get food, you won my heart. Like, <laughs> I mean, listen, I had to make sure that you were safe. I had to make sure I was safe. And you know, I, in the in the process, my friends they 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 bust on me. They joked and said that I was uh, soft, and you know what kind of gift is tires. And I was like, listen, man. If you was riding that car on the highway, you would have boarded some tires too. That's all I can say. 
Yeah, so he brought me some tires. He took me to Red Lobster. In the beginning, Red Lobster was our spot. Um, and he took me there, but it was just like the most cheesiest moment. And if anyone knows me, know that I love like cheesy little love moments and stuff like that. So Christmas was the perfect, Thank you. perfect. Thank you, Nurse White. You feel me? <laughs> you said that was a great gift. Thank you. Yeah, it's See, tires I because he didn't want to die. That was romantic. <laughs> Listen, I mean, it's... <laughs> It's crazy. Somebody, somebody, put in a chat in the chat real quick. Let me know what was the craziest or the most unfamiliar gift that someone got you. You know what I mean? It could be, it could be a guy, it could be a girl. Anything that you got as a gift that's like, well, why would they buy that? But at the end of the day, it worked, and it, you know, I, I got you what you needed, not necessarily what you wanted. He did it because. Yeah, like that was that car. What was that? Putt putt. That was my first car. Putt putt. Yeah, that putt, was the putt. name. Because these names is real putt. too. I don't want y'all to think that these. Yeah, these, like these names are so names real. Just came out. Putt putt is real. Putt putt is gone too. Rest in peace. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> when he met me, my car used to putt. So you know that was the name of the putt putt. That was the name of my car, putt putt. And yeah. the tires used to screech. So. I believe Dante bought those tires because he was afraid for his life. So he decided to <laughs> buy tires because he didn't want to keep riding around with me. And, so, and then, you know, something happened to him. Yes, CC Bloom, rest in peace, putt putt. <laughs> right. Literally. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so real quick. Um, hmm, my man bought me and my roommate. A show. Oh, That's a that gift. Was... Yes, Gretchen. Yeah, that was nice. I like that. <laughs> I mean, now, that's a gift. Now, when... A shelf. And you probably used it for whatever. It was used. So that's a gift. It was a gift that kept on giving. <laughs> 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 Literally. <laughs> and you know what? See, it's things like that. You know, that's to me, that's something that's that's well thought of. That's not just saying, oh, I'm just gonna get you a bouquet of flowers, you know, or or, you know, something that's simple-minded. That was something that you really probably needed. And, you know, it worked out. And now, you know, you could share that, that, that gift with others. And most people might not even know it. They're like, hold up. I thought you always had that shelf there. Nope. Mm-mm. The cool thing was... Right. Oh, wow. I mean, listen. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I already give gifts. Ooh, yeah, and that. then sometimes we get gifts <laughs> and they sit for a long time until you decide that you want to put something up. So hey, yeah, listen, that's what that's what Gretchen said. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's <laughs> what men do. That's what men you know do. What I mean? <laughs> that's right. Shout out, hey, listen, shout out to uh to everybody that's in the chat. You know, like I said, my yeah. Shout out everything. to Pink Lee. <laughs> yes. You know, um, and at the end of the day, you know, when it comes to these gifts, sometimes they keep giving, you know, sometimes we, uh, we let them fall by the wayside. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, real quick though, I want to talk about, um, the travel thing, right? Cause in our pod, the name of the podcast, you know, for those that don't know is what be. Love, marriage, and travel. Right. Love, marriage, and travel. Right. So, um, if I could just elaborate my love and then the marriage part and the travel part, right? Um, the love part for me, right? Love is like unconditional, right? And when we say unconditional, everybody always say, oh, you know, he loved me or she loved me unconditional. For most people, I think that's just like the good things. Like as long as everything's going good, you know, as long as everything's going good, um, we we think that this person loves us un unconditionally, right? But you know, at the end of the day, um, I want y'all to know that we got to start judging even ourselves sometimes on the things that that goes bad. You know, do we still feel that same way? And I mean, I know it sounds like I'm not playing a role, but it's something that's real, all right? 
So we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go pay these bills real quick, <laughs> and then when we come back, I'm gonna jump on my travel thing, and then I'm gonna give y'all the vacation part of it. All yeah, right. and just before we go on break, babe, I'm gonna take them back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put out a song real quick because I'm gonna take them back to when we was in 07, We first met, and um. Oh, you gonna do? You going Are you requesting out here? Yeah, we definitely right, gonna put I on like, that like T that. that T Pain. We gonna put on that Epiphany real quick, and we gonna okay. play one of the songs we used to listen to all the time while all we right, was driving right, up right. Pittsburgh. All right, y'all. So, so ride with us real quick. Ride with us. All right. All right, y'all. Y'all just heard our song playing. <laughs> that was one of the songs we used to listen to on our way up to um, Pittsburgh and whatnot. So. Uh, how you like that song, Dante? Uh, no. So that song is that's my jaw. You know what I mean? Um, y'all was killing it. Y'all was killing it with the uh, with the music too. Just to let y'all know, like, I mean, y'all was playing all the right songs. I'm like, whoa. You know what I mean? What is going on here? Um, shout out to everybody that's listening. Um, so I had a couple people hit me up, like, yo. I can't hear nothing. I'm like, oh, right now we're in commercial. So whenever you are, if y'all can hear me out there, create that account. You know what I mean? If I sent you the link and you was trying to listen and you really couldn't hear me or hear anything or the music that was playing, it's because I, we need y'all to, to, to go ahead and put in just your email, make a little password, you know, and then everything, like, you'll be able to hear the whole show. And it's worth it. You know, it only takes two minutes to do it. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, set your notifications the way you want it. And then whenever we come on, y'all can hear us. Whenever we go on break, y'all can hear the music that's playing. Because, you know, everybody was grooving to me. I mean, yeah. what you think, babe? Shout out to everybody that's listening right now. We got Jimmy yes. Drip. We got Luxury. Hey, cuz. Shout out to us. Uh, first of all, shout out to Stereotype Radio, first of all. Definitely, definitely, definitely. They're doing it big. <laughs> they is doing it big. You hear me? Like, if you ain't ever pop out to none of the events, if you ain't ever um, listen to none of the podcasts, they is doing it big. They got, uh, what's his name? Uh, the boy Blizzy on there. He be killing it. You know what I mean? Um. Uh, the young lady, Pink Lee, she be killing it. You know what I mean? So I see everybody doing it big. You know what I mean? Let's just keep that love Babe, going. Spread that love around. Let's actually, you know, we was talking about the traveling earlier. And yes, I wanted to get into, like, you know, how you be trying to low-key have a little competition with me with, you know, trips. Oh, man. Yeah, low-key you be trying to compete <laughs> with me with the trips. And for real, for real, you know, I, 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 I kind of won, right? Uh, all right, so it wasn't no competitions initially. I think what happened was, um, you started seeing me like really killing these trips that we be booking, and then you'll come back and you'll try to do one. And I ain't gonna lie, you you got me a couple times, but initially it didn't start off as that. Can we take it back a little bit? How far back we gonna go? Can we go back to like the uh the our first, first time I trip, ever flew? Our first trip yeah. that we took together yeah. was Miami. Yeah, she got me. That was she in 2015. Me, uh, yeah, she made me uh pretty much get on the plane. Um, yeah, I didn't know anything about ride. it. <laughs> I was terrified because I'm afraid of heights. I turned down jobs to work on roofs. Um, and I mean turned down good money because I was afraid of heights. I never got on a roller coaster. All my before I got married, before I met my beautiful wife, all my girlfriends would say, "Oh, if you don't get on with me, then I'm gonna get on with him." I'd be like, "All right, cool, see you." <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so <laughs> that was that was that story. Um, but yeah, I I don't mess with heights. I don't. I'm afraid of heights, like terrified. Um, and honestly, like I don't know what made me. You know what it was? It was the love. It keep coming back down to the love. The love made me get on that plane because um, initially I was like, oh, you just spent this money? Oh, and I got to get on this plane? And yeah, you got my I clothes already him. ready? 
I didn't ask yeah, didn't you all. I booked the trip and, you know, just did everything. And basically when it was time, like we're going on this trip and yeah. he could turn it, he could t- turn it down. Like it was a basically a free trip and your flight was already paid for. So you have no choice. He got on and never looked back. let's just say that I never looked he back. passed out and his eyes. I went never back looked his back. I never looked back. That's all I'm saying. No one told him to look out the window. I sat next to the window. I said, don't look out. He looks out. And what I mean, when he looked out the window, his <laughs> eyes literally went in the back of his head. I've never seen nothing like it before. And Listen. I had to, like, push him to make sure he wasn't dead. Um, but he was live. He made it. And I made it. <laughs> I made it. He made and it. On- and <laughs> we survived the two-hour trip to Miami. So... <laughs> Listen, I made it. And the crazy part is this. I was I was terrified to fly the first time. Um coming back home, I was I was I was okay though. I was like, you know what? If I die, everybody on this plane gonna die. And that you know, was it. That was that was just my thought. Like I don't know what to say. I was like, what's the odds of everybody dying at the same time? Didn't know you was thinking like that, but um yeah, I mean, but it made, it, it made me, it made me, it made me get on that plane, though. You feel me? So, like I said, um, make sure that y'all, uh, that y'all creating those accounts. You know what I mean? I know y'all can hear me now. For some of y'all, um, if you didn't create the account and you just, you know, you logged on, um, create an account that way. When we go to break, y'all can still hear the music and uh and everything else that's going on. That way, you you stay informed. Um. Yeah. But yeah, so then we fast forward to uh that that trip to Miami was 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 decent too, by the way, because um that was Miami my first trip. Has, yeah, and Miami has seemed to have been um like our second home now because we have been to uh, Miami about. I don't like to say that. Yeah, it is our second home. We go to yeah, Miami all a the time, a, a lot. lot. But understand that it's not just Miami, right? So you got Fort Lauderdale, which is um which is also nice. I see y'all writing in there. Somebody said London. You know I, I would mean? love to go to London. That would be y'all amazing. Doing it, y'all doing it real big over there. Um, that would be amazing. But yeah, so uh, we're going we're going we're going to touch on that one on that London. But real quick, so um, the thing about like I said, Miami is that it's close. You know, so when when I miss my kids and you know I don't want to fly for five, six, seven hours. You know, an hour and a half flight is cool. It's convenient. It's right there. Um, you don't got to worry about going over no mountains and crazy turbulence. When you go to the West Coast, you got to worry about crazy turbulence and stuff like that. And then, like I said, um, now that I'm a little older, a little wiser, I don't want to be around all the riffraff necessarily. So you got Fort Lauderdale. But if I want to get a little raunchy, you know what I mean, throw back a couple shots, turn up a little bit, then you got Miami. It's 45 minutes away. You know what I mean? So that's why I uh I like Miami. You know what I mean? Yeah, um Miami has been the spot to go to, especially since we have discovered uh yachts. And oh, yeah. for the yeah. past couple yeah. years, I want to say maybe the past three years, um, yeah. we've the always rented a yacht. Um, it's a different vibe. It's we just relax, yeah. relaxing, you know. They stop drinks. the boat, yeah. drinks, yeah. Like it's just, it's just smoke not even trying to sell. Cigarettes like you know, you're in the open. Yeah, it's it's just different, but not even trying to sell. Like because <laughs> people will try to say I'm bougie, but no, I'm not bougie. But not even trying to sell bougie. It's just, just different. It's I never experienced it before, and when I did go on um, and y'all for the first time, it was actually for a. Um, a bachelorette weekend, and I had such an amazing time. And anything that I do um, without Dante, I always try to do it again with him so he can experience it because anything that I do without him, I'm always thinking about him like, I can't wait to show Dante what I experienced or I can't wait to show Dante um, this place that I've been to. And that has always happened. So when I got on the boat, I told him about it, and I think the next time we went to Miami was for – uh, his birthday, and I surprised him with a yacht, and then he loved it. And then the um, I think that year or even the following year, we came back, 
And I believe yeah. it was for my birthday. We brought more family out and they got on the yacht. So it was just a different type of like feeling. And yeah. now that we go to Miami, that's we always run the yacht. Yeah, I mean, and the thing is, when when we say yacht, like people or some people tend to think that, oh my goodness, I'm not going out spending no whatever it is that you're thinking that we spent. Because I can't tell you quite yet. We're not getting into that that part of the uh, the show yet. Yeah, because we, we we ball on budget. Like <laughs> yeah, we ball we ball on budget. We ball on budget. We know yes. how to make things work. We know how to go on trips and and right. and not spend crazy money. Um, right. Yeah. We gonna we gonna share that with y'all though. Y'all 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 stay tuned. You know we gonna we gonna share some information with y'all. Just not quite yet, but um, yeah. So. It's affordable. I can tell you that much. Um, in fact, but between Miami, mm-hmm. you went. To, we went to Miami. What would you say yes. is the best trip that we've been on so far? Because I see that that was asked in the chat. So what oh, was yeah. the shout best out. trip that you shout said? out to uh, Jimmy? Um, Jimmy Drip, yes. Yeah, definitely. Um, for me, my best trip uh, for the price or just in general. No, in general, from all the places that we've been to. In general, mm. I'm gonna go with the uh, with the Bahamas. Yeah, so um, Bahamas. Bahamas was nice as well. Um, yeah. For all the places that we have been to, um, yeah, Miami, New Orleans, we went there. Um, we've been to Mexico. Canada. We went there twice. Um, yeah, Cancun, Canada. and then. Uh, we've been to Canada. We've also been to, um, I said, Dominican Republic, I mean, Punta Cana. Of course, like New York. Um, and then recently it was um, Nassau, Bahamas. I, yeah. Did I miss any? Oh, in Vegas. Yes. Yes, I mean, Jimmy it, Drip. How can I forget Vegas? Because Vegas is yeah, like Vegas. Arthur. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And with those places, isn't that? And that's not even a lot because I have so many more places that I want to visit on my bucket list, but out of all of those places, probably to me was the, uh, I want to say Bahamas Bay, but at the same time, Dominican Republic, I have yeah, so Yeah, Dominican much Republic. And Punta Cana. That's, that's like, Dominican Republic is definitely like, it's one of those places where you go and you really feel um, humble, right? Because <laughs> I'm what? sorry for what? laughing. I just like looking at the chat and then Jimmy Drew uh, just said North Carolina and New York. I forgot. Yes, we've been to those places yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, so when you uh when you look at Dominican Republic, like I said, it's really humbling. Um and it make you appreciate what you have and thankful for the things that uh that we have and we, we take for granted, you know, day by day, like fresh water. Um, electricity, cars, buses, those type of things, you know what I mean? Um, but it is a beautiful side of it as well, right? Um, not to say that the other side is not beautiful, but the, the luxury side of it, you know, yeah. um, it's very, very beautiful. Part. Yeah, all-inclusive is like, it's life. Um, yeah. I, and, we like, and, you know, spending, you know, going places and we just pay for, you know, the hotel and whatnot, but all inclusive to me is the best deal. We get to drink whenever we want, whatever we want, um, yeah. eat different places, room service. Like, so for me, I like paying at one price and I get to do everything I want to do on the resort. The amenities, yeah. you know, like the uh what like the jet skis or um yeah, that stuff, to go that on stuff excursion. I, I feel like you could you could you could do that type of stuff and uh and it'd be it'd be fairly cheaper if you just go on the go on the beach. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like make sure that when you if you book a trip out of the country that you that you uh that you go on the, the beach. Um because you can find everything on the beach. Whereas yeah, on the resort sometimes cool. they charge you over the the top. Um shout out to Gretchen. She said that uh she going to Vegas on Thursday. She wants you to make a a list of must do's. Oh yes, I definitely will message you, know you I mean? Gretchen. Um, I think we have been to Vegas about uh, has it been 
is it three? 2021, I think we went, uh, no, I'm sorry, 2020, we went twice in that year within a month. We turned around, yeah. we went in September, and then a month later, we went with uh, my sister-in-law, and that's how much we liked Vegas at that, <laughs> at that moment. And then we yeah. turned around, and we went to Vegas, I believe, uh, probably a year or two after that, for our anniversary. Yeah. So, I yeah, so I got you, Gretchen. I'll send you some of the things and places that uh, me and Dante like to go to. Yeah, definitely. Um, Vegas is one of those places where it's though um, you're going to either love it or you're going to like it a lot, <laughs> right? Because at the end of the day, um, you got the casinos. I mean, as soon as you get to the airport, Literally, you're in the yeah, slot machines right in the airport. Everywhere, like literally. So if you got a gambling problem, uh, you might want to second <laughs> guess that one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, then on top of that, um, everything is so like big and bright. If that makes sense. Um, from the oh, motels see. to the hotels, everything is just like over the top. And you could get the rooms for a fair price. So y'all yeah. stay tuned though for the next couple of episodes. We're gonna go over the prices and some things for y'all. Yeah, some of the um, deals that we we uh see and what we go for um when we're yeah. like purchasing yeah. trips and everything or booking trips. Yeah. But y'all um you're gonna you're gonna get the coins. I wonder what you know Dante has in store for me this year because his birthday, I surprised him with uh, we stayed at Breathless in Punakana. Yeah, that was listen, and I had a concierge service. You know what I mean? A butler, <laughs> mm, personal concierge. It was, it was, it was weird. It was weird. I ain't gonna lie. I loved it. It was a little weird, but it was like it was different. That was the most differentest thing. And honestly, now I don't know what to do. So if y'all got some ideas to help me out. Cause her birthday coming up in June. If y'all got yeah. some ideas to help me out, because she she got me right now. Um, the trip that that I think kind of did it was the she, when she did the boats. That really like that was something different. So then I said, okay, I'm gonna do you one better, and we went to you know different places, uh, Dominican Republic, then uh, the Bahamas. And one I got year, the chance. Um, ew, I think it was one year. I don't know if this was 2021, but um, I had surprised you with, um, I think it was called like the Soul Session uh, Massage. And yeah. we went there and then everything was a surprise. You know, nothing was going on. And I surprised him with that. And then basically after we were done the massages, he was given a, a message of, oh, we're going to dinner to um yeah, what was that place that we went to dinner? Um was Eddie it B's. Eddie B's, yeah. Yeah, so then it was a surprise yeah, to that, go to Eddie V's. That was crazy. And then after we was coming out of Eddie V's and we was driving home, I was like, oh yeah, make sure you got your bags packed because we're leaving in the morning. You know, we're going to um I think we stopped at Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, and we I'm, actually I'm we visited. I'm sorry, so. we didn't stop, we stayed at Atlanta. And it was just like surprise after surprise after surprise. And yeah. when we went to Atlanta, Dante loved Atlanta so much that he turned around and got him some grills by Scotty. Now, talk about yeah. something off the wall. Yeah. I wasn't thinking about getting no grills. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> he wanted them. And, you know, we had a good time. Uh, it was cold, but we had a good time. <laughs> yeah. And listen, let me tell you all something. I love, like, when I tell you, culture. I love our culture, right? So, I went to go see, like, Dr. Martin Luther King, um, hit where he where he was born at, where he was raised at, the church that he went to, his memorial site. Um, to me, that's really big, right? So, if y'all ever get a chance to go to Atlanta, check that out, all right? Like, the culture is real. Um, and just something about being in, in, in Atlanta, and then I think off topic, we want we want up going to go to uh, who was what restaurant was that, babe? We went to <laughs> the Waffle House. 
Are you talking no, about Zandler? No. no. The Waffle oh, House. We went to um well no, we was we did go don't try to play Waffle House. I mean the Waffle House is the Waffle House, but it's still yeah, it, it's good. It's good. Anyway, <laughs> um what's the name of this? No, we went to are you talking about we went to the Kirk and Rashida? Yes, uh, yes, yes, hip-hop yes, yes. restaurant. Okay. Yeah, we went to their restaurant, right? So that joint was pretty decent. And it was reasonable. You know what I mean? Um And they was the all up in there good. too. Yeah. So I mean family. if you were if you're a, a real uh, TV head, you know, that might excite you. But I was just like, yeah, uh, what them prices look like? You know what I mean? So the prices was good. The food was good. Um, everybody was nice in that place. So shout out to them. Um, but the one thing that I thought that made me think that I won this uh, this war, quote unquote, is when I took Stephanie to the Bahamas, right? Yeah. So that was we different. went to uh we went and stayed on Paradise Island, right? Understand that for a second. Paradise Island. It don't like get no better than that. Right? No, you, no better than that. You did a great job with that trip. I said, I said that never I, I said you won because you did it with a Miami in the beginning. Yeah, and then I, from I, Miami. I two, yeah, I had to two piece it. You know what I mean? Because she didn't know what was going on. So what I did was I had rented a car in Miami. And um, we stayed in Miami for like two days or something like that. And then from there, we wound up um, flying, the over the, yeah, flying over to the Bahamas. That's what, somebody was like, why didn't you take a boat? And then we looked a couple, like six, six seven weeks later, and the boat then sunk. Like, what? Nah. <laughs> That's why you didn't want to take the boat. <laughs> I didn't care about taking a boot. I didn't care about taking a boot. (laughs) That is crazy. But but what we don't want to know is that the beginning of that trip, we actually, it was horrible. It was a horrible experience because it rained the day that we were leaving. And, yeah, we wound up taking Frontier, which... Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about Frontier on another episode, yeah, we, we, but basically, yeah, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, because I might start but, cussing, and we, we not it was bringing me back flashbacks to that day. <laughs> but um, <laughs> and that day we was there standing in line, and for some reason when we got our ticket, um, I didn't see the seat number on there, but it had our ticket and everything, you know. So we waiting up at the front. We went through security and everything. And we're waiting there, and they never call our name. Yeah, and then, that was a bad feeling. Yeah, bad feeling. So then we're waiting because we see other people waiting. And for some reason, I don't know if it's a part of the frontier, you know, like um, their, their, their code of conduct to be rude to people. But the George <laughs> just basically <laughs> said... Chappelle. Basically, that's how it felt. <laughs> he basically was training, just like, training episode. you gotta go... <laughs> You got to go to another um, uh, representative and they'll do it. You basically just fling us off and they care about the fact that we are booked to go to Miami. So at this point, I'm usually a person that really goes zero to 100, like real, real, real quick. But I was being calm because I was like, maybe if I try some kindness and, you know, talk to her really nice and don't get upset and cry, then maybe she might say, you know what, sweetie, we'll do this. Did you think she did that? No, she didn't. She basically just fling me away. She ain't got nothing to do with that. Um, the flight is overbooked. And then I just cried. <laughs> All, right. All right. So I listen. Cried. I cried. I cried. <laughs> but listen, hold on. I want to go back to. Can I go back to. Uh... All right. So long story short. Like, uh... All right. So, yeah, that that part was horrible. I ain't going to lie. Right. Um. Now, when when we got to uh, the Bahamas, no, babe, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta back up before you go to the Bahamas. You gotta back up right. because right, okay, right, back, up. back up because we didn't wind up leaving the the day we were supposed to go. So of right. course, I cried right. all the way back home in the lift. And are you then, you really you really going to tell this whole story? Yeah, because I need people to understand because what y'all may see on social media be like, oh my God, Dante and Stephanie is having such a great time. Y'all don't be understanding what leads up 
to these trips and what happens. But I need everyone to know, yes, CC Bloom, things happen. <laughs> but what basically happened that day, you know, we couldn't go on the day that we were supposed to go. And they we had to book another flight because we didn't want this whole trip to go down, you know, like, oh my God, we this was something that he planned. Now I never knew about Bahamas. I just knew we was going on a trip. Um, so family member had helped us out. We wind up getting a, another flight somewhere. Not going to disclose how much that flight was, but just know it wasn't the original price that we paid for Frontier. And we had to catch another flight. The flight had a layover in Tennessee. And we went to Tennessee. Shout out to the Titans. Yep, right, that they it. didn't have not one Titans. Shout out to the anything Titans. Anything in that airport. So just, you know, sign <laughs> over. Anyway, back to us landing in um, Tennessee. When we landed in Tennessee, of course, my bags were checked. Mm -mm -mm. We get to Tennessee and I cannot find my luggage that had every little outfit, piece of jewelry, dresses, sandals, everything that I just purchased. <laughs> and um, again, crybaby Stephanie, it just, it just came out because we had to wait about, which was say an hour. Yeah, and it was. This it was, was with spirit. It was a long time. That's this I can was tell with you. spirit. Spirit, no representative around. I'm knocking on the back door. I'm knocking on the the door where everybody is in the back of the um. What is that, babe? The concierge. That's... Yes, I'm knocking everywhere. I'm banging. I'm pressing the um help to police. Someone's oh, gonna Lord. find my bag <laughs> because. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to work out with me going somewhere and I still don't know where we're going but wherever we're going I want to have my, my clothes my birthday outfit so for about 30 minutes me and Dante are trying to track someone <laughs> down we finally track someone down um, and this lady is doing her best I wish I remember her name because she truly was trying but even after she was trying and I noticed that my bags are still not coming anywhere I'm thinking that my bags are back in Philadelphia. I'm yeah, thinking that my was bags were somewhere else because the person that she was talking to before us, his golf clubs was in another state. So everything that is just basically going on in my mind, I was crying again. I cried. Yeah. Um, <laughs> until this lady was bringing this bag about, at this point it was an hour later, and she yeah. was bringing the bag back and it was my stuff. And all I could do was just say, thank, thank God. you, God. I right. cried even more because I was like, God is good. God is good. God is real. And then yeah. I calmed myself down because we had like a couple more hours before we was catching the plane to yeah. the Bahamas. So I had to back up to let y'all know that that, like, going yeah, she, on the she, trip. The <laughs> she was serious about that, just to let y'all know. Like, she, yes, she was, I was really, really serious. Snapping. I had to let y'all know that that see, was. She it's, said, "She said, damn the segment. We're going to talk about, about I had to let y'all know, like, because people be thinking that everything is just so, you know, sweet. Oh, yay, they're going on a trip. No, we go I mean, through a lot to go on trips. Yeah, sometimes things happen, you know. Shout out to everybody that's listening right now. You know what I mean? Make sure that, you know, y'all request these songs so we could groove with y'all. Like, y'all was just, I ain't going to lie. Wait until y'all see these visuals that we're going to put out. You know what I mean? When we jump to that next stage with the visuals, it's going to be crazy. So, you know what I mean? that we, and now we're going to go to a little break real quick, and we're going to play some music for y'all, so we'll be back real soon. Whitney Houston, y'all. Rest in peace, Whitney. If y'all was a Whitney Houston fan like I was, then I know that, that like, y'all was up dancing like I was. Like, if you wasn't, then, oh well, but that was Whitney, and I had to get up and dance for her. A little two-step real quick. But um, thanks for everybody that is right now listening. You know, shout out to um, Pink Lee. Shout out to Dove Punk Radio, Henny G, uh, Boogie Mandela, Nurse White, Gretchen Elise, Jeremy uh, Drip, uh, Queen, K-H-L-H, 
Luxury, CC Bloom. Thanks for everybody that's currently listening right now. We appreciate y'all. And just, uh, you know, we're going to keep doing this every week and share it to your friends. Definitely. Um, And keep coming hey, in listen. on Tuesdays with us, y'all. <laughs> yeah, real, real quick. Also, make sure that y'all sign up. All right, because if you just um, if you download just join the app, us, yeah, download that app and sign up. It's free. It don't cost anything. That way, you can hear us, and y'all can hear the music that we groove into. You, right. you know what I mean? Because I was on some Apple level music, up stuff. You feel me? Um, your Apple Music or your Spotify. <laughs> you know, connected with the um, you know, your app. Listen to the music that we groove into as well, and then you know, listen to me and Dante talk. Um, just a, a little bit about you us, I mean? but coming back off of that break, babe, you know, babe, real quick, can I just say something? I love that song, oh, Level okay, Up. I'm gonna let no, you go no. ahead and say something, babe. Go ahead. I just, I just had to say that. I know. I'm sorry. That that Level Up song, that drum, that's yeah. my, that's my drum. That was hot. Shout out to Pink yeah. Lee. <laughs> definitely, definitely. All right, now listen. Also, y'all, y'all see what it is. You know, everybody. If you, if you hear, you hear my voice, then you know what it is. You know. Download the app if you don't got it yet. You know what I mean? Make requests. If y'all got a question, feel free to ask us. You know what I mean? We all here together. We not here to uh, spill our guts. We want you to spill yours too. <laughs> you know what I mean? We all here to have fun. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, you know, crowd participation always make everything fun. So if you got anything to share, you know, rather big or small, you know, if y'all got free. any questions for us. Yeah. Um, because this is not for, you know, um married people only or um this is for nope. everyone. You know, what Everybody. this podcast is be- basically gonna be about is just uh me and Dante just talking about, you know, ways that we kind of got through things and the yeah. the places that we go and you know how we overcame some Life. of the struggles, you yeah. know, that comes along with marriages and then just kind of be our you know, funny, goofy self that we're 24-7. So yeah. <laughs> we just yeah. bring it to y'all. A lot of people tell me, they say, oh, yeah, y'all should do like a podcast, a show. Yes. Da, da, da. Well, listen, soon I'm going to be calling everybody. You know what I mean? I'm going to hit up Oprah. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, like he's not lying. Like we, I really get DMs on Instagram. Like when I post something for me and Dante, we're out, we're traveling. And somebody you'll just like, oh, I love y'all, and y'all don't even know us, but y'all, y'all write something like, oh, I love y'all, I love how y'all travel, or y'all do certain things. And, and we've been getting that a lot, so it's just like, why not, you know, share some of our ideas that we, you know, not ideas, but share some of our, you know, tips and secret and advices that we do have. We can share with others because, um, again, yeah. we ball a budget. <laughs> yeah, balling on the budget. Shout out to Gretchen. You know what I'm saying? She been Gret hey, listen, check out Gretchen. You know what I mean? She been she been writing us all night. You know what I mean? She said, uh, you know, talk about Keep some the of surprise surprises. popping. We you, you know what? That's one of the things that make um me and Dante marriage, you know, and our relationship keep going with not just with the surprises, because of course it's the oh, love man. that we have for one another, but that sounds scary. you know, keep this it keeps the spice. It keeps the, you know, like the excitement up that we have little surprises. It's not only with trips. We do little surprises, maybe just around town or something, or just having a day to ourselves, or even, you know, we going somewhere with the kids, but we, you know, we spend our time with our children. We love our children deeply. Um, and 95% of the time it's, always devoted to them. We work hard because we want to make sure, you know, they're good. They have a better life. But sometimes we get lost as parents and married parents. We get lost in doing for others and not making sure we're good. We lose what we had in the beginning of our marriage when we got married and we lose all of that because we just devoted all our time to our kids, which is not bad. But you yeah. don't want to forget your marriage. You don't want to forget your spouse, your mate. And yeah. that's what we be doing. Like we just we have our time for our children, but we always remember you gotta make time. Us. You gotta make time for us or you. You know, if you're not married, you gotta make time for you. you know what I mean, uh someone a has lot a of- question. 
<laughs> I was about to say, listen, I was about to say, uh, it looked like Boogie Mandela, he wrote, I got a question. Was it hard for y'all to commit? To each or was other y'all, y'all decided yeah. to get married. Or was it or was it second second thoughts? Oh man, mm. he dangerous. That, that guy dangerous. You can answer you want me to answer first and or you answer. <sighs> um I'm gonna answer. Okay. I'm gonna answer. Uh all right, so it wasn't man, see that's a tough question. It wasn't hard to commit, but the more important question is when you find somebody that is sent for you, do you go with what your mind say or do you go with what your heart say? So that's all I'm going to say right now on that. But go ahead, big. Um. It wasn't hard for me to commit um, because for me, like, once I love somebody, once that person is that I found like that's the person that I want to, like, be in a relationship with, then it's kind of like I set my mind on that. Um, My parents have been married for 48 years next week on the 19th. And so that's all I've that's all I've seen is you know, my mom, my dad, their marriage. And I wanted that. That I want that. And um, for me, it's just kind of like when I saw him and we were together and we did things together, he made me laugh. It When I knew that I couldn't live without him and when we were, like, had time apart and, of course, I was a crybaby. Everyone knows me, I cry. Um, <laughs> so I got, you know, I, it was a different feeling with Dante. I've been with other guys before, but Dante was different. It was just something about him that I had my heart set on. I knew that mm-hmm. he was going to be the, the one for me, my person. And That's it was right, just kind of like, you know, I just I stuck in and stuck with him, stuck beside him. Thank and, you. I uh, appreciate it. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm yeah. getting my... my Wings in heaven. So. Thank you. I, I, I really no, appreciate but, that. Um, now, I listen, just, let me tell you something. I knew he was the one, y'all. I knew he was the one. So when we decided to commit to one another, um, and he proposed to me on Christmas, the same day that he asked me to be his girlfriend in 2007, in 2009, he proposed to me on Christmas. I did. So, yeah. um, Two years again, later. he knows that I like that the, the cheesy type of love, you know, the stuff that makes girls it's all nothing cheesy giggle. About me. It's not, it's, it's not, it cheesy about me. but yeah. you know, it was, you know, babe, I'm one of them type, I'm a hopeless romantic. So it's just basically you did the perfect type of, um, proposal and it was on I, one of my favorite holidays. I did what I did, what I thought was best for us at the situation and at the time but um yeah so let me answer the question straightforward for y'all before we uh before we uh get to the next segment um because you know love is something that we all want right and cherish um we all want that connection with somebody um and i don't care who you are when you get to a certain point in your life, you just want somebody that's genuine to be around you, right? Well, back when I was younger, um, when we first got married, I knew that Stephanie was going to be the one for me. Now, I'm not going to lie. At the time, I was I was uh, entertaining other females, right? But I knew that it was something about Stephanie that took my mind off of wanting to be with another female, right? So I I, I could clearly say that when I proposed to her, I knew that we was going to have this great life together, right? Because I said I was going to work my way to the top to make sure we had this great life together, right? Shout out to all the people out there that's working every day, you know, doing their thing. Whether it's flipping fries, flipping burgers, changing tires, 
driving buses, whatever you do, you know, keep doing it. You you great at what you do. I mean that sincerely. Um, but when it comes to when we when we got married, at that point I knew that you know it's not going to be no one else to take her place because my heart knew it and my mind knew it. Oh, hello? Is anybody there? I don't hear y'all. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? Like, y'all, it's quiet out here. Y'all making me nervous. No. Um, now, it's called listening, babe. <laughs> no, I, I appreciate that. But the same way that she say that, oh, um, I did all the things for her. But little did she know, and I have never said this to her ever in life. Um, but she did everything to catch my eye, you know, and that's, that's what it came down to. It was just like, you know, she wasn't over the top. She wasn't too hood. She wasn't too sophisticated. She was a lady, you know what I mean? And that's what a man was. I'm a lady. lady. <laughs> All right. And then we can mold you into be the freaks that we want you to be. But, <laughs> but that's a different topic. All right. We'll talk about oh that in about God. 15 minutes. <laughs> so in 15 minutes, we're going to have that conversation. But um, No, no, no. But, you know, but, yeah, we, I'm, when we first got married, compared to, like, now, yeah. we were married. We still didn't know each other. We still went no, through a it, lot. It, listen, it, let me tell it you took something. a lot. Relationships is something that you had to, you got, you got to go through the, the tough times. To really find out who that individual is. I'm sorry. If you if if I met you and you rich, that's cool. And if we're supposed to be in love, I like you don't know a person until you go through some type of tough times. And I'm not saying that money is everything. It it does mean a lot because I'm pretty sure that if you know at the end of the day I'm not able to bring anything to the table financially, that you know, don't nobody want wants to be with someone like that. You know, but um, it, it it takes it takes tough skin to have a marriage and to find out who the person really is, and not necessarily everybody's meant to be with everybody. I'm sorry, that was it for me. Go ahead. <laughs> you could have kept talking, but what I was saying is that basically, when we first got married, you know, everything was you know not going to say perfect, but it may have seemed perfect to everyone else's eyes, but me and Dante know what we dealt with, you know, on the inside. And we got married in 2011. I would say we was going through a rough, rough patch from 2011 yep. up until maybe 2016, where we yep. kind of just say, you know what, w which way we going to go? Are we going to go, you know, divorce and give yep. up and that's it? And we decided to stay with, with one another because the love was bigger than everything that we've been through. Um, we couldn't see each other without one another. And I was willing to get over the things that were done. He was willing to get over the things that was done. And we actually uh, went to counseling and yeah. we worked out a lot through counseling. And I can tell you that was one of the best decisions that we made to go to a counseling session because they brought out things that we still didn't know what you know about one another and yeah, at this later. point right we were we did counseling i want to say maybe 2017 yeah. we were we've been married since 2011 so me yeah. still finding out things that i didn't even know about dante through counseling was amazing. This lady brought out a lot and then we understood a lot and the reasons why we went through some of the things because we didn't we still didn't know one another. And yeah, I think like even at the, right. <laughs> and yeah. even with the counseling session, we grew more and more in love. And 2021, me and Dante decided to renew our vows in Mexico. And at the end of our ceremony, we jumped into a pool um, yeah. and I thought, you know, at that time it was like, oh my God, why is this man making me jump into a pool? But that yeah, jumping was, into the pool. Was, 
Go ahead. It was different, but I wanted to say that it basically is symbolized basically getting rid and washing away all the things that we've been through in the past, and we basically renewed. Um, so that was something that I felt when we jumped into. I, the I ain't gonna lie, I almost cried just now. <laughs> On air, I almost cried. I'm gonna tell you why because I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking. See, that's why we, you, my person. That moment when. <laughs> After listen, after we said our vows, right? We was uh, where was we? Mexico, right? We was in Mexico. Yes. After we said our vows, and um, as we we're walking, you know, I got the linen on. You got your wedding dress on. Yes, we have kids. Yes, um, four. Yes, four. We'll talk about them next time. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm. I see you in your wedding dress. You look beautiful. And I see everyone clapping, and I just said, you know what? When you are, when you go to those type of places, most people they don't know. I mean, I'm not going to say that because everyone knows the struggle, but I feel like we really went through things together. Um, any any questions you got, Icy Chick? You know, you can write it. Yes, um, definitely. Or else, if you if you want to tap in, you can tap in as well. You know, just just hit that button. You come right on here with us, and we can bust it up. So, um, yeah, when I jumped in that water, I was thinking to myself, you know what? This is like a fresh start. You know, and I and I said that subconsciously to to God or whatnot when I jumped in that water. Um, and I said that you know I'm gonna really try and to be a better version of me. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm 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 grateful. I'm beyond grateful. Um, how do y'all avoid keeping y'all personal business mm. away from the kids? Ah, wow, that's a good question. Um, that's something we had to grow into doing because at the beginning of our marriage, it was kind of hard um, with my uh, with us because we're, me and Dante we're both passionate people, um, yeah. and I think that's why I was a lot of yelling going on because he was passionate about what he was saying. I was passionate about what I was saying. And in the mix of doing that, us yelling back and forth, we're not realizing that, you know, my son at the time, because at the time when we were really heavy into the uh, arguing, I just only had um, my my stepdaughter and I had my son. And then my daughter, Kylie, was really, really young. So she really didn't know too much was going on. My son heard the arguing. So um, it was kind of hard in the beginning but I never went to my son and said anything differently about his dad and he would never do the same with my son with me you know we, mommy and daddy you know we had an argument mommy and daddy love each other you know we love you this has nothing to do with you and again that was not all the time but when it did happen we you know, we explain our son, this has nothing to do with you. And sometimes people that love each other, they argue, but we don't hate each other. We love each other. And we just had a disagreement. Um, yeah. If it and, ever came to the part that our, our children witnessed anything. And, and uh, another thing was, um, that, like she said, we, we both are real passionate. Um, and this is something that's different. The podcast and if you looked, I never had a, a social media or anything really like that. Everything was more so personal. But even with the kids, you know, when you argue or you have disagreements, um, kids idolize everything that we do, right? So I'm not going to lie. I, I had a real bad temper. I never put my hands on Stephanie, but I would, like, destroy things in the house, right? Cause I'm a, yeah, I'm a, I'm what, you, I'm what they would call in the past an alpha male. I don't know if they still use that term now, but like I'm a man's man. If that makes sense, I'm not passive. I'm straightforward. I'm honest. Um, that's 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 what I like to look at myself as. Maybe it's another word for it. Maybe I don't know. But so uh, arguments will happen, and uh, <laughs> whoa, pause and um. <laughs> I would like punch man. the wall. Yeah, right. I I will punch I will punch the wall or break a TV or something like that. And then I started thinking to myself, like, damn, 
what am I doing? I'm costing myself hundreds and hundreds of dollars here, right? So um, that it, it first start with the individual, right? And then um, if you if if you love that individual that you're with, you know, when y'all go through arguments, find like a spiritual connection, right? Yeah. Um, I I wasn't trying to jump into this this part right here so fast, but you know you gotta you gotta find a spiritual connection. Um, only because if you don't, then you lose ground with everything, right? So um, that's what helped not, us. Yeah, I'm not saying specifically, you know, what religion or telling you what religion to believe in or anything like that. You know, that's up to you. That's your your beliefs and everything is fine. But you have to find a spiritual connection, meaning that you realize that, you know, you're not the everything don't necessarily revolve around you. You know, it's other people in this universe. Your decision that you might make today might affect somebody else tomorrow. Right. So um, the best advice I could give you to keep the personal business away from the kids business is, you know, try not to. uh had those conversations at that time, you know, step back and say, hey, listen, even if you know you're right, you know, you have to step back and say, hey, listen, let's talk about this in another room. And then you let the kids know, hey, listen, me and mommy going to go talk or me and daddy going to go talk yeah. or whoever's going to go talk. And then y'all had that conversation. But just be mindful, because like I said, kids is like it's sponges. They do everything we do. And they, yeah, and, they, they and and it's yeah. So. Any other questions, though? I mean, yeah, definitely. We got a few but, minutes left. You know, you know, yeah, a few minutes left, and, and I, I listen, know everybody. I just let y'all know. Yes, and I know everybody you know. is getting ready for Valentine's Day tomorrow. Yes, Valentine's Day. Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh, Valentine's Day. I know, babe. Like before, Dante used to say, like, oh, we don't celebrate Valentine's Day. We're married. You had a wedding. Stuff it's like too much that. money. Like, what? Please. Please. Please, if you don't, my dad to this day, my dad gives me something every year for Valentine's Day. He gives me some chocolate oh, and he calls me. He says, Happy Valentine's Day. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with being acknowledged. So I can give, give you I'll give you a box of chocolate and tell you Happy Valentine's Day. No, the box of chocolate is already taken by my father. You, <laughs> you <laughs> That's crazy. Are going, you're going to give me something. I'm, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working tomorrow, too. Working too tomorrow. Yep, we gotta get up at five. What time do you get up? <laughs> <laughs> five fifteen. We gotta get up and get the kids and everybody ready out out the door, and we go our separate ways. And then we come home. I don't know what's gonna happen after that, but um, Dante yeah. better not play tomorrow. I wanna be Listen, held like uh, I wanna be y'all hear like from Usher me next week. Y'all know Alicia. what happened. You know how yeah, Usher Listen, held Alicia, right? I wanna be that. held like that tomorrow. So so real quick, do y'all think <laughs> do y'all think that uh that Usher overstepped his boundaries? I don't think so. This is just no, a, a, was... a, a pop question, real quick. You wanna know what I feel? I feel like if somebody, you know, if them two was no. basically going Damn, through a rough so. patch, Alicia and Swiss, then maybe it would have been a big deal. But they both are secure in their marriage. It yeah. wasn't nothing to worry about. If you secure your marriage, and stuff like that will phase you. But if you're going through something where you're dealing with infidelity or you're dealing with, you know, anything else, then, yeah, that's going to bother you. What's up, Nurse White? How uh, you doing? Usher. Yeah, like, it was a performance. Like, yeah. Usher got that whole persona, don't leave your girl around me. True play for real. Like, we already know. So... We know what he's gonna do <laughs> when he's with people. This is him. This is I don't know. I, I, I like I don't think that he uh that he overstepped any boundaries or anything though. But listen, y'all listen, if y'all love this podcast, you know, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna put up all our stuff up on social media, things like that. Right. Um, go ahead, like, subscribe. When we get the YouTube channel share it. Same sure. time next week on you know Tuesday. I mean? We can talk about yeah, how y'all Valentine's I mean Day it. went, what type of gifts y'all Listen, got. And I want I want to hear from y'all though. I want I want to know from y'all insight as well. You know what I'm saying? So when you come on, you know, pop a question, you know, we we'll holler at you, you know. Make sure y'all follow uh stereotype. Stereotype radio. radio. If y'all not you know following, I mean? make sure y'all follow so y'all get every updates. 
about everything that's going Us. on. We the um, the podcast that's on Stereotype Radio. I've never been to Dubai. Up. Every Tuesday, you know what I mean? Yes, 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 Listen, yes. Every Tuesday I appreciate and y'all. Nine. Thank y'all for coming out. You know what I mean? Um, and then, like I said, next week we could do it all over again. Invite a friend, put them on. You know, don't forget. Hey, call in and ask download questions. That app. Yeah, y'all got to download that app so that you could be a, had a full experience. Because when I when I do these giveaways for this thousands of dollars, I want y'all to be a part. I don't want to hear nobody say, oh, I ain't know. You know what I mean? Share, like, subscribe. All right? Yes. Don't forget, Catch Hood Politics. You know what I mean? By Blizzy Paco Black. I can call it. Yes, that's what Black Thursday Black. and tomorrow. Y'all, y'all tune you know I mean? in for Pink Lee for Red and Raven podcast. So yes. y'all, y'all, you got a lot of podcast shows going on, y'all. So y'all. Tune hey, listen, in. I don't care what nobody say. I want y'all to, I want y'all to continue to support us. You know what I mean? Because we're gonna support y'all, and you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Let's have fun, y'all. Y'all be good. Take care. Have a good night. Peace.